Alrighty, it's day four. I had to go to the junkyard and get the bracket that I needed for the stand rack. Get the brackets. This is the bracket for the power stand rack. This is the bracket I ordered offline. And this is the bracket that you need. This is the bracket from a 1990 rear sway bar, but you need the bracket for the 1990 Accord uh, front sway bar, not rear. As you can see, the size difference. And yeah, what you wanna do is when you get it, it's just cut the ends off like this. Enough for the bolt, the bolt that I have. Since I brought new bolts, it's still too small, so I have to cut this out a little bit more. Put some spaces right there. All right, let's yep, cut this some more, put it on the rack, tighten everything up. Time to go back in the car. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Is it lined up now? Mm -hmm. Two hours later. No, the, I was talking about the front side of this. That side already tightened up. Tell me right here where he was at. Go out here. Mm. Go out here. Yeah. Mm, I'm just trying to get this on like on there.
like this needs to push in or something. You see what I'm saying? It's on the right line, but it's on the right line. This hole ain't all the way lined up. Tighten down. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Now that the subframe's in, I gotta put the sway bar in. Once I put the sway bar in, put the wheels on, make sure the wheels are straight. If the wheels are straight, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the rack. And we'll be done with this project. And then you have to stay tuned to tomorrow's video to see what's coming next for the four door Integra. got the sway bar in we still have it loose and that's what we want we want to have it loose so we can put the sway bar links on with no problem I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second I got everything else tightened up so now I'm going to connect the steering rack to the steering wheel this part right here part numbers on the box what you gonna do it's basically the steering rack well the steering rack view joint but yeah Just 
just like that. Make sure the damn wheel still straight. All right. Go ahead, tighten up the bolts. And you can move the steering rack. You can move the steering rack now that it's connected. So you move the bolts, I mean, you move the rack around to get these bolts back in. Cover back on, clips back on. that the subframe's in you're gonna see how the steering wheel you know turns i'm not gonna start the car because i have something else to do to the car all right so that's straight let's see if the wheels are straight it probably needs an alignment but that's all right i was gonna get I, you gotta get an alignment anyway after replacing the steering rack all right, let's see how she turns. <laughs> no weird noises, no binding. I think it's pretty good. But the real test is when we drive it. But I won't be able to do that in this video. But that is how you install a subframe and stand rack into a 90, well, into my 97 Integra. You can do it in your Integra and Honda Civic, whatever. They're all the same for the most part. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.